Hi, my name is Christopher Green. I'm a cartoonist living here in Toronto. I initially came here from Alaska about seven years ago, and I've been living here more or less ever since. Um, one of the things that I actually left Alaska for in the first place was to try to find a bit of a comics community, to find a, a scene of people to connect to that were passionate about the same things I was. Um, comics had been and still are pretty central to my life in terms of how I express myself. And I wanted to find that in, in, a, in a way that I could kind of plug into. And when I came to Toronto, I, I had some difficulty doing that. It actually took me quite a while before I started to kind of slowly and organically um, build a community of people around me that I could just kind of have a rapport with. And I've been very excited about the idea of this Canada Comics Open Library since I first heard about it for many reasons. I mean, among those, just having a resource of comics that people and myself can go and browse through and find those exciting new things. But I think even more than that, I'm excited about the idea of it being this central hub, this place where people like myself in the present and like myself in the past as well, that is somebody that is already here making comics in their own house, maybe not with other people that they're in contact with, but also somebody coming and starting out and not really knowing how to approach things from a basic practical, how do I actually put these things together to, uh, well, how do I actually, um, you know, go to a festival or table at a show. Uh, having a place where people can come together and have those kinds of conversations, have workshops, have just simple time spent together, all the things that go into making a community a real, a real space of kind of heart and sort of soul to it. I think spaces like that can become the soul of a scene, and the Toronto comic scene has elements of that. We have our comic shops that act as places where we all come together, but they're places of commerce, and that is intrinsically different. A comics library can be a place that is purely there for the sake of sharing, of being, of connecting, of learning. Its, its purpose is something that is, as cheesy as it is, more earnest and pure, and I, I want that in Toronto.